a Black Knight uh, CPU and driver board came in, uh, reported to only boot uh, intermittently, but then once it booted, uh, it was reported to be fine. Typical repair on these is all the sockets, and uh, there's a 40 pin socket and then the ROM sockets. Uh, sometimes we replace these masks ROMs uh, with a little newer ROMs. Put an NVRAM in here and it replaced all the headers all the way around on both boards. Uh, they develop zits if you try to reflow them and it just doesn't work very well. Replace the male 40 pin header. This one, the female 40 pin header is unusually good. So I left it in place. It's missing a few pins there that aren't used. Somebody repurposed them. It's okay. I did add a uh, signal for the blanking here. Uh, the LED lighting means blanking is on, and that's good. And the only other thing I did here was one of the 27 ohm resistors was burnt pretty bad, so I replaced it. So let's boot it up and see what it does. You can see it booted right up, and it's in a track mode. This is my Siegecraft display simulator here. Uh, let me get some lights off here, okay. Lamp matrix working fine, and the only coil it's on is the coin lockout coil. So let's put it into test. And the first test is display test. You can see that's operating properly. The next test would be sound test. I don't have a sound board connected here, so we're going to skip that one. The next test is lamp test. And you can see all the lamps are lighting properly. And the next test is solenoid test. And since this is a System 7, it doesn't multiplex the coils. It's just going to go through all 16 regular coils plus the six special solenoid coils. When the coin door lockout one fires right there, it'll turn off. If you went through, if I waited long enough, it would come back on again. Okay, so that's all working properly. Let's uh, test the special solenoid inputs. I'm just going to... Uh, rake this connector here with a uh, ground and we'll watch those come on one two three four five six and those are all your special solenoids operating properly the next test is switch test and keeping in mind this is a system seven I'm going to use my penny tech switch tester and go down column one there you go and then uh, go across row one and that is all the switches in uh, row one I'm going to go to the end of the switches uh, that Black Knight uses it looks like Black Knight stops at switch 46 so all the switch matrix is good to go. And now we're back into the audits. I'm just gonna run right through those. And the game reboots. Displays go back into attract mode, as does the lamp matrix. And the coin lockout coil is lit. Now you can see blanking is working properly. I label that blanking good. It's a goofball signal. It's a not blanking signal. Uh, so this board set is ready to go back into the Black Knight. Thanks very much for sending them.